This is my hardcore Iron Man. Hi. In this series, we start out in a completely random location, and for every 10 total levels we get, we unlock a new chunk. I hope you guys enjoy. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man series. Last episode, we got 38 herb lore so we could finally make prayer potions on the account. It's going to be super useful going forward for like fight caves and just other content that we want to do. We still need a better way to get snake grass though because right now we just have pearl pearl which is not great. And we also need to get 65 fishing so we could complete Taibo one eye trio quest. We burnt the Karambuan that we get during the quest so we're going to have to fish another one ourselves. So that's the first thing i want to do this episode this is what the map is looking like by the way our last unlock was pest control which is pretty cool i might go there to do some training and maybe get some void armor not sure how good it is compared to what we have now but something to think about still trying to work towards the east side of the map and like varrock and everything once we unlock that that's going to be a huge help 61 fishing that's level 62 we could fish monkfish now we can't actually fish them because we need to complete swan song which is kind of high requirements but whenever we could finish it level 63 64 we got a medium clue scroll also the first step we can complete it's at the golden apple tree which is kind of by relica all right next step mcgerber's wood we have that chunk also that was like the third chunk that we got in the series it's been a while since i've been here all right next step and we can complete this one too medium clues are either three or four steps so this could possibly be the last one. Fourth step north of crandor island we can't get there until we start dragon slayer and i think that's still kind of far off in the series we have a good amount of chunks to go before we could start it so we're gonna have to drop it unfortunately level 65 fishing now we could catch karambuans and finish the taiba one i quest before we do that i just want to cook all the food we have we have like 4,000 salmon and trout put together it's a lot just gonna enchant this game's necklace to go to birthorpe and we're gonna use the fire at the rogue's den 59 cooking 60 61 level 62 63 level 64 cooking that's another 10 total levels and another unlock so let's pull up the map and roll for another chunk west relica um that's mostly a water chunk but i'm gonna count it as an actual chunk because there is content there there's a quest star and there's also a dock so um yeah west relica finish cooking all the trout i'm not gonna do the salmon right now we still have like 2,000 in the bank or something that's gonna be a lot of cooking levels whenever we get to it but i just want to take a break and do the taibo one eye quest right now picking up where we left off fish the karambuan don't burn it this time don't burn it this time there you go <laughs> there it is uh, i just got a couple of them so just in case talk to tamayu talk to tinze talk to tiadich back to tim fraku and that's the quest complete i didn't realize you get like such a variety of xp that's nice and that's also another unlock so let's pull up the map and roll for another chunk let's see crafting guild anytime we get a chunk on the eastern side i'm happy because i just want to like get to all that content um crafting guild i don't know if it really unlocks anything there might be some snape grass on that peninsula there and just learning how to cook karambuans from this guy here i also want to do doric's quest we unlocked this chunk last episode and that's going to be a super fast quest to complete and another unlock that we could get so yeah just gonna do that talk to doric i was gonna mine the clay from the crafting guild but we actually actually can't enter without a brown apron i forgot that was the thing i don't know if we have access to one so we might not be able to enter we could get all the stuff we need from the remington mine though so we're just gonna mine the stuff here back to doric to complete the quest and that's another unlock let's pull up the map water birth island that's actually really good i'm happy with that and we just unlocked the dock so we could get there too i'm gonna kill some moss giants for a bit i do want to still work on the range level i want at least 70 range before we even try the fight caves and we also completely ran out of law runes we have zero so uh just gonna stay here they drop law runes one out of 32 we got a tooth half of a key that's gonna 
gonna be the third one on the account. I don't know if we have the loop half in the bank. We might actually. If we could get another one, we could start working towards like a combat bracelet, which I'm pretty sure is better than the spiky red vams that we have. We ran out of arrows. We got a good amount of runes and a good amount of XP too, but we didn't get any law runes. I think we're gonna have to change plans. I wanna try to kill the Dagonoths at Waterbirth Island. They drop law runes a lot more commonly and they drop them in like larger stacks. So that might be a better way to do this. And I didn't realize how much snake grass is here on the floor, but this is gonna be a really good method of getting snake grass. Prayer potions are pretty much taken care of. We don't have to do Pero Pero anymore, which I'm super happy about because that was just, <laughs> that was pretty bad last episode. Here we are at the Dagonauts. Hopefully we could kill them pretty fast. I'm gonna be flicking protect for melee because they can hit like 14s. And this skeleton is actually a safe spot, which is really nice because now we don't have to use prayer potions here. And we already got a few law runes too, and it's only been like 10 minutes, so... It's looking a lot better than the Moss Giants. And if you guys are enjoying the series, consider hitting the like button. It really helps out the channel. That's level 68 range. Um, I think I'm going to get out of here. We got 39 law runes, so this method is actually really good. We're going to end up doing it again probably whenever we need to get more. Doing some thieving here at the RD Knights, I kind of overlooked the fact that we're going to need a lot of ammo to do the fight caves. We don't have Ava's accumulator, and our range gear isn't the best, so it's going to take a while to get through the whole cave. I don't know. We might have to rethink the plan because it's going to take a lot of GP to get, you know, at least a few thousand myth arrows or something. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to start saving up some money. At least our thieving level is pretty decent. So the money is not going to be too slow. All right. That's 75 thieving. We made 122K and that brings us to almost 200K cash stack. Not bad. Definitely going to have to save up more, but it's a good start. Just doing a farm run here, collecting some Raynars, and getting a full stack of Snape grass. I'm so happy we unlocked this method. Making some prayer pots. 21 four doses in the bank. It's starting to add up. Nice. I don't know if this is a bad idea, but I want to try to kill Dagonoth King Rex. I never killed the Dagonoth Kings before. I literally just did it for the first time like five minutes ago on my main. Just so I don't go in there without knowing what I'm doing and then die. Um, But yeah. I just want to try it out. We definitely can't kill all three, so I'm just going to kill Rex. He drops a Dragon Axe and also a Berserker Ring, one out of 128, so it's not that rare. All right, we made it here outside the entrance. I actually went down the ladder without my prayer on, not realizing that that was the boss room. And we got attacked, which was pretty scary, but we didn't we didn't take any damage. I jumped right out. They could hit like up to 50s and 30s down there, so that would have been bad if we took some damage. But we're good, we're good. Let's try to get him to a safe spot, and hopefully we could get these kills pretty fast. I at least want to get a couple. First kill coming up. Myth Warhammer and Dagonoth Bones. Probably going to save those. Kill number two. Steel Kite. Yeah, nah, yo, I'm so scared of getting hit by this Dagonoth Prime dude. I'm just keeping Protect for Mage on. We ran out of food, so I'm going to get out of here. We, we were taking a decent amount of damage from those ads. And also, I just need to get better at safe spotting Rex and everything. But yeah, we at least got two kills. Definitely going to go back there and try to grind out the Dragon Axe and the Berserker Ring. That would just be really cool to get on the account. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I also have a playlist of the whole series if you want to see it from the beginning. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.